23 at 18 or some 17. Why may have a 16 at 15? Thought I said it was big though. You better get the tunes going. So let's all look out after each other. Let's uh, spectate with Aloha. Let's be, be aware, be kind to our neighbors. Oh, look at the surfers. Oh, it is massive. Ever since I was a little boy coming to the Eddies, so many years, this is really good. One minute, Back it up, Lord. Get out of that river mouth, too. You guys that are right in front of that water. Can we just that? Because you can't. Big wave surfing over the last decade to me is just, it's gone to another level. To see where it is today and what guys are doing, I think it's, it's way more on the performance side of things rather than people just trying to get a big wave and just go straight. They're surfing it like it's a six foot barreling wave. They're taking off on a 30 footer and drawing these lines, these incredible lines on a 10 foot board and getting deep in the barrel and getting blown out at the end. And I just, I've been out there a couple times and to see those waves come in and these guys, the commitment these guys have and it's, um, it's really inspiring and it's really exciting to kind of see where it's going. It's also very scary. I can't wait to see what happens in the next 10 years. For me, I'm just a fan of it really like and I like dipping my toe in the water every once in a while and getting out there. Um, it's when I have the time and I go out there, it's some of the best sessions of my life. I love surfing big waves. It's so much fun. But I also love watching these guys that are dedicating their lives to it and to what they're doing. And, and they and a lot of the guys too are like, not only are they dedicating their lives to the big wave side of it, but they're d dedicating their lives to the rescue and safety side of it. And what they're doing at Jaws is just inspiring to see. Um, a lot of those Maui guys have put a lot of effort in that area and just making it safe and you know, um, and then the Bragg crew and uh, just that whole team and teaching people how to be safer in the water. It's just gonna keep going in that direction and people are gonna surf bigger and gnarlier waves and get more barreled and I think the boards have changed a little bit. You know, some guys are running a bit shorter boards than I think they would have in the past and also seeing a lot more four fins now and different shapes of four fins like seeing the stuff that Kyle Lenny's riding is pretty cool they're totally different looking surfboards nothing that you'd ever expect and um, I love that stuff the just the innovation behind it and the theories and the thought process that goes into it I think is really cool it just really gets people thinking I think a lot more and as a surfer you're the closest one to something happening if it goes wrong and so you kind of want to be able to know what to do um, and I just think that yeah, with the performance, the safety is getting better as well. When I do get to surf big waves and not chasing the tour around, um, and I get a, we co get a couple big swells a year here in the winter, the biggest improvement that I've seen kind of in the water, I feel like to me, and the stuff that I use is the gear that you have on yourself. Now we have the opportunity and the options to go for so many different things that we can have on us while we're surfing and whether it's an impact suit or an inflation suit and and it's kind of all built in and that's kind of my kit when I go surf really big waves and that to me just feels really good when it's really big that kit right there but I mean there's definitely a lot more experienced big wave guys than me but for me that's what I like to wear and I know everyone kind of like I said everyone has their personal preference and it's pretty cool you you feel really cool with it all on I mean it's like uh I don't know how to explain it. Like it feels like you have like a parachute and you're ready to go like just do it. Impact suits have been around for a long time and even I can remember when I was a young kid and just kind of getting into big wave surfing, O'Neill would make these uh, 
wakeboard impact vests and everyone kind of used those in big wave surfing and so that was pretty cool you could paddle around with them and they'd have a little bit of flotation with them and then um i think patagonia kind of started diving more into the specific for surfing impact vests um and they've done some really cool stuff and innovation behind that and all the new like impact suits are built with the inflation suit in mind and it's all built in and everything works together and so i think that in itself is like the the biggest thing for modern big wave surfing we've gone through a couple different versions of the impact suit with the velcro pads um it was actually pretty funny the the eddy was the first time i actually got to test it and the night before i was like switching the pads in and out and the pad the first version of the pads were just blocks of foam when i first put them in my legs the night before the eddy i was like put the suit on in the yard and i was like okay this isn't gonna work <laughs> the bottom of the wetsuit was off the skin it was like this weird <laughs> it's like this weird block and the wetsuit like came out off the skin and i was like okay that's not good <laughs> and so we had to like adjust the pads and like shave a little bit off and like uh, get them a little bit thinner to fit in the legs um yeah it's just kind of cool to see where it's come to now and like really getting those ideas from doing it and like okay we want the pads to mold to the legs and like have a smooth transition of the wetsuit from the where it hits on your bottom of your leg and smoothly come up and over the pad on the legs and it's something i never thought about before but uh, it's just these like little things that it's kind of fun you come across when you're trying and you're like, oh, okay, that's cool. That maybe we can adjust this a little bit to little things. For me, that that's really exciting because getting into the impact vest, I just uh, I was using it for big waves and started using it at pipe a lot actually, which is something I never used to do. And pipe's an incredible wave to wear one because not only do you have the padding, but uh, it's a wave that we've seen so many times um, that someone gets knocked out and then they stay underwater. And so I think with an impact suit, you have that buoyancy to bring you back up to the top. So I started wearing my impact suit a lot at pipe. And the one problem that I was having was that the pads that I use at pipe are much thinner than the pads I would use if it was a lot bigger. And that was the feedback I got from a couple of different people who have been using the suits in bigger waves. It was like, hey, the pads are a little thin. And I kind of felt it that way when I did get my big wave sessions in. And so with the new suit, it's just so fun to be able to change the pads out for what you're doing. And so we can throw in thicker pads if we're going into bigger waves, um, if we're doing the eddy or if we're surfing some bigger outer reef wave. And then, you know, for pipe, I like to switch out to just some thin leg pads and just the back pads. And then I take all the chest pads out and just have these thinner pads and you don't even feel it. It's the coolest thing because you're wearing a spring suit and you don't feel these pads on you. And, you know, when I was wearing the thicker ones at pipe, they would, if I'm like backside, I felt like they would always get in the way because for a long time of surfing, you start to get like a perception of where your body's at. And when you have something sticking off you like an inch or two, it really catches. And so just having these thinner pads that are just slim and like pulled down to your body is just such a better feeling. And so I think this goes back into the mobility of the suit and the flexibility of kind of being able to move the pads around to what is comfortable for you nice because you can take the pads and you can on the leg you can move them a little bit up you can move them a little bit down you can move them around and just kind of get what feels really good to you in the water and I think that's really important because the stuff you're wearing when the waves are 20 feet or the stuff you're wearing at pipe when it's 10 feet you want to have full confidence in what you're doing and just feel good these suits definitely don't make anyone invincible in large surf um, and I think that's a really key thing to please listen to me on <laughs> Only go out if you're comfortable, you know, this suit is not going to, uh, yeah, it's not going to make you invincible. You're still going to hit the bottom. You're still going to get held down. You still can get a two-wave hold down. And I think that's really important for people to know. And even with the inflation suits, you know, still does not make you invincible. And it's just a helping hand at times. And But you should never trust in it completely. Yeah, the idea really is just to be as comfortable as you can in uncomfortable situations.